belt starts off there when you're in in low gear running on a on a small radius and on the other pulley it'll be running on the big radius on the outside and as the car speeds up and gets to the point where it would run up against the rev limiter pressure is applied to this one and the correspondingly the pressure is released or, or controlled on that one so that the ratio changes by running up to the bigger radius on this one and falling down onto a smaller radius on that one giving you your top gear I strongly believe in the future of CVT technology and uh, uh, certainly otherwise we wouldn't have spent considerable time and development on this system in conjunction with Van Dorn and uh, the testing that we've done so far backs up the expectation that it would uh, be a, a better system for Formula One cars and that it would I think within a relatively short time be winning races. Okay David, you are now driving in a CVT car. The car is equipped with a valve driven continuously variable transmission. The main functions are indicated by this panel where you can see that this LED display is indicating the ratio of the belt. We are now driving in overdrive ratio. If you push the throttle pedal, you will see a downshift very smoothly, revving up the engine speed. We have three different drive modes by the electronic controls, which are indicated on the steering wheel. Now we are driving the, uh, the economic drive mode. You can also switch to the sportive drive mode, where you will see that the CVT will make a downshift, revving up the engine speed. To drive now within the sport, you can feel the RPM is high and the car is like ready to go. So, is here the line pressure at same level as uh, primary pressure? I think we have to increase the minimum line pressure. Once I was there for a few seconds. Sorry? Not once I had been flat out for a few seconds.
looks very encouraging what we've seen so far. With the drivability on a circuit is going to be the interesting thing, whether the yeah. driver can, yeah. can balance the car using his right foot. Productiemodellen tot nu toe die hebben een vermogen van pak een beetje 100 pk ongeveer, de dingen die je dus in de winkel kunt kopen. We hebben nu een nieuwe transmissie ontwikkeld voor over de 200 pk en die, dat loopt allemaal erg goed voor normale voertuigen zoals de Voyager. En in principe hetzelfde ontwerp van het hart van de transmissie wordt hier gebruikt voor 800 pk. very different to what we're used to. Uh, it's a little bit strange at first when you drive the car because obviously the RPM is remaining very high at maximum RPM all the time. Um, we're normally we're working with the gearbox and the driver is aware of, of constant, uh, constantly the RPM dropping and the car moving forward and back and it's, it's all very aggressive. But uh, the feeling of the car now is I'm very excited because when I enter the corners it's so smooth. We have none of the, the down changes to make because the, the car is making the changes itself and uh, it proves that the machine is working better than man because uh, it can make smoother gear changes than I can. Het systeem heeft zeker voordelen, maar wat we voornamelijk geleerd hebben in deze, deze ontwikkeling is uh, het omgaan met de verschijnsel eindige levensduur. Dat betekent dus dat je de zaak uh, kapot rijdt en de grenzen van het systeem leert kennen. En daardoor precies de, marge, de veiligheidsmarge die je in je normale product hebt, uh, leert uitnutten. Dat betekent die, die ervaring die kun je doorvertalen in de gewone transmissies die daardoor beter worden en meer power aan kunnen. Verskeerd mandelen. Ja, dit, dit werkt echt goed. Ja, ik heb een goede opnames. Ja. Onder op de schaduw. Hier kijken we het tegen. Laatst. Ja. In our particular case, you can do many things with CVT, whether it's for better economy, but in our particular case is to achieve more engine revolutions per kilometer so that we actually make better use of the power potential of the engine. And uh, most certainly it would be um, winning Formula One in a relatively short time. CVT is a winner for sure. I'm convinced of that.